Speaking of fun, when I was growing up and I didn't have a Nintendo for a little while, actually, I had to entertain myself. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> so before I discovered masturbation, I would go outside, <laughs> outside and play. And this was the suburbs of New England. It was very, very fun. And you kind of had to make your own fun, kind of running around and having a good time. And I finally discovered the whole concept of a ninja. Like, for every single guy in this room, besides, of course, Chuck Norris and things like that, the coolest thing in the world that you can imagine is a ninja. Remember Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? You remember Snake Eyes from, uh, was it G.I. Joe, right? He was like a high-tech ninja and everything like that. Little known fact, by the way, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are actually Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles in England because one day some kid took a shuriken, poked his friend in the eyeball with it, and then they banned all things ninja in England. True story. Anyway, continuing with that train of thought. <laughs> My friends and I decided that we wanted to be ninjas. And we, we didn't want to like just take mom's scarf and like wrap it around her head. You know, we were making our own entertainment, right? So I just ran across the street and understand that we had our own little clan at that point. We had our own little dojo, our own, you know, our own little we were like we had, we had four of us actually. There were four ninja turtles, right? Now that I think about it. Yeah, the two older kids were 18, and don't ask why 18-year-old kids were trying to be ninjas. Instead of playing with their power glove. And we were 14, so you know, 14 you can kind of get by with it. We got this catalog, and I don't know where you even, I, I can't remember the name of it, like it was Ninja Catalog or something. <laughs> and there was no internet back then, of course. So when we wound up getting money for it, I'm like, all right, well, let's order some Ninja gear, right? And we got, I don't know, somehow we got $500 from somebody to convince us to do it, because normally we were hanging out making forts in the woods and lighting pieces of plastic on fire, realizing that they were getting out of control, and stepping on it with our bare foot, and realizing we were scalding our foot. That's a true story as well. I lived for about a year after that. <laughs> anyway, so, we order all the ninja gear, and it's like the full fucking garb. It's like, we have this, the, the glove, you know, with like, not a power glove. We have the glove with like the little finger thing that kind of goes there, right? We have like the head gear, you know, that's like all your eyes, are, only your eyes are poking out, right? And then we have the shoes. Whereas, I don't know if you guys know ninja shoes. I know all the guys in the audience are, are thinking about it. They had the split toe, and I don't really know why there was a split toe involved. It kind of looked, actually looked like a little camel toe on your foot. Now that <laughs> It was like to help you be agile or be on like a tightrope or something like that, right? And so we're like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. This is Easter morning. I don't know why we chose Easter. Yeah, it was, we were fucking weird. We were weird kids. That's why we make video games now. <laughs> and so we're like, okay, we're gonna sneak out and we're gonna be ninjas at four in the morning, right? So I wake up, I set my alarm, and I'm like, this is it. I'm gonna be a ninja. And I, I get my full fucking garb on. I'm looking like Snake Eyes. Yeah, Joe at this point. Well, without the goggles, right? And we had like the katanas, we got the shurikens, we we got the little fucking feet of the foot with the split toe, right? <laughs> and so I go outside of my back porch and I'm about to like make my escape and you know, poof and all that shit. My brother comes home, drunk as fuck from going out. <laughs> and he's kind of stumbling up the walkway, and this is my my next oldest brother, God bless him, he's not that smart, he was already fucked up, so he's really just, he's lucky. He's lucky he lived. So he comes in, and I'm staying very, very stealthy in the dark, because I'm a ninja. And he shouldn't see me, because I'm wearing all black, and it's dark out, and I'm very, very still. And he walks in, into the room, and he goes, why are you wearing a bathrobe, Cliff? <laughs> and I go, I'm going out to do my paper route early. And he goes, okay. And he goes inside, and my heart's going about a million miles an hour. I seriously have to fight Shredder or some shit like that. <laughs> So we get outside, and we meet up at our little fucking dojo, and we're like, all right, this is, we're gonna do some ninja shit, right? What are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? My buddy goes, let's rob a fucking farm stand. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> In feudal Japan, they would rob farm stands, right? <laughs> and so we go down there, and we, uh, we, we break into the farm stand, we're like, well, what do we need, what do we need? Do we, we need money, right? Ninjas need money, right? We gotta pay for all this fancy gear, right? And we get, a, we decide we're going to steal cash registers, right? Because in our 14-year-old brains, we assume there's still going to be money in the cash register. We go running out of there like the fucking L.A. riots, holding four of these cash registers, sneaking out to the woods, right? We, of course, break the cash registers open, and we find, like, two dimes and a nickel, and it really wasn't worth it, so we threw those in the pond and stole some peanut brittle and ate that instead. <laughs> um, I, hope the I hope the statute of limitations is passed for all this shit. <laughs> Side, we're gonna do some more ninja shit, and my neighbor has a shed, and we're like, we really don't know what's in that shed. God knows what could be in there, right? Let's go break in there and find some stuff. Because we're fucking ninjas, and that's what we do. <laughs> and we break in, and there's a gas can! Right? <laughs> we're like, let's put it in the car. No, we didn't put it in the car. We decided we are gonna pour it in the middle of the road. And of course, this is like upper middle class, you know, suburban Boston, right? And everybody's asleep, and we're pouring it out. We're like, this is fun, right? Yeah, ninjas. <laughs> Right? Uh, Everybody lights on fire. And we're like standing around like, yeah, we got a ninja bonfire now, right? This is cool, we're ninjas. 
And then he decides to pour some more gas on it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, let that baby go, woo, right? And then all of a sudden, the, gas start, the fire starts going up the gas back into the tank. And what does he decide to do? Throws the whole thing on the pile. At which point you get a giant Hiroshima-style mushroom plot as we're running from it like a fucking Jerry Bruckheimer movie and acting like ninjas. And that was my Easter that year. <laughs> you want to go outside and play? <laughs> All right. I get to be uh, Splinter. All right, I'm still going to be the Easter Bunny. Okay, you be the Easter Bunny. I'm going to be a ninja rat. You want some chocolate? Yeah, dude. All right, what's the shot? Man. Leave with Jesus. Man, I tell you what, And at 17 was child's play, but being 18, I feel really mature. Yeah, me too. Me too. Nice. <laughs> you guys, I put on all red so I could be the blood on the front door of the Jews in town. <laughs> Real classy, Mark. Real classy. Come on! I'm trying to show people that I know about them and their culture! Alright, but let us know how it goes. <laughs> what, you- I can't hang with you guys this Easter? We've got some serious playing to do! Listen, you're gonna be a rat smoking a cigarette, you're gonna be a bunny passing out Jesus chocolate, the least I can do is be a blood stain on our afternoon! But you're only 16. Sorry, dude. You are only 16. You can't vote. <laughs> you can't buy porno, and you certainly can't play like a couple of 18 year olds. <laughs> Man, this fucking sucks. This all red suit is a piece of shit. I'm just gonna go have sex with a girl. <laughs> On Easter. <laughs> hey, are you a girl, right? Yeah. Uh, Listen, before I came over here, I had an all red suit on. Does that make you hot? A little bit. All right. <laughs> hey, hey, I can go back and get it, and then we can fuck. <laughs> I'd really much rather read the Bible story. Okay. Easter. Read the Bible, and for every word, take off a piece of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, Jesus. Hey, step the fire of my love. <laughs> <laughs> alright guys, alright, cool, alright, so, so guys, uh, so like, oh, God, you guys, don't, don't, sorry, don't say, sorry. don't say alright guys so loudly because I hit the deck every time. Sorry, sorry. God, the last time you said alright guys, someone died. <laughs> sorry. Okay, but at least there's still four of us. Come on, dudes. Today is Ninja Day. Alright, alright. Today is Ninja Day. Oh. Come on, let's I thought, I thought we changed it to Hero Day. Oh. <laughs>